It's Madden NFL 23, and there's no love lost between these NFC East foes. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it's all up next on EA Sports. Open back in 2003, have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field, where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. And incomplete to open things up. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Me and you, baby, me and you. It's all like Come on, come on. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Play action. Here's Hertz. Again, that's Watkins. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A really good pickup of 28 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. 
They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This a second and seven from the 37. Here's Hertz to throw. And this is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Throwing is Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And one more time, that's Watkins. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They're giving him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route running and finding seams and openings in order to create these completions. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the nine, second and five. Hurts sets up to throw it. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got some. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone, they do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves. Stick it in the end zone on a running play. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-zip. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Throwing, Prescott. He finds his man, complete. Now a loose football, the ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He's thankful right now for that sideline because it could have been a fumble loss instead just a fumble, though they will have to punt it down. You're right about that, but do you think there's ever been a player happier to see his own punter go on the field than him? No. I mean, not at all, right? How fortunate is he that they got a chance to punt it away and it's not just a turnover at the spot? On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. He'll drop to throw. That's caught. It's Dan Arnold, the tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. 
Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Four yards to pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. But first down, Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. So no gain on the play at its second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Off the play fake, here's Hertz. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. And not wanting to take a shot out of the pocket, he tucks it and goes down. I'll tell you who was excited by that play, and that was the defensive front. They didn't need any additional help. They got to him in a hurry. And right there, he had to make a big-time decision. I think he made the right one. Protect the football, then protect yourself. Maybe not necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs> he will never admit to that, but he's probably been about himself first. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in, and had just enough to get it done. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. to throw his press gun. He's got a man complete. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Now you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Play fake. Here's Prescott. They'll roll him out right. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. 
It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. Prescott from the gun. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'd been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. And I could see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Gallup getting it on the jet sweep. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jake Ferguson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are back within a score. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Tristan Viscano for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10 7 now. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience... How much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. 
On first and ten, it's Hurts. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Let's go do this thing, baby. Get ready. Get ready. Don't they got to walk that walk, baby. We gotta be big time now. They'll go with Pollard here on first down, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Prescott. Out toward the sideline and completing it to Pollard. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 29 yards for Tony Pollard. And the Cowboys have moved out in front. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. And you have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 14 to 10. A drive there of just four plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Let's go, man. Let's go. 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 Let's
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll look to throw here. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times, it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you gotta like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed, first down. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now a give here to Pollard. Oh, able to avoid him. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott looking left side and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. Run for Pollard. 
And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Pollard diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's good, and it's 21-10. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. They go play action with Hurts. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Let's go do this thing, baby. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Hurts. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. 
A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Prescott to throw it. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. to back good plays have them on the move on first down looking to throw Prescott now they set up the screen that's complete and he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43 the defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up if you're going to commit to doubling a back you better prevent a completion but give him credit extra determination extra effort turn it into a successful play throwing again on second down Prescott out of his hands quickly to C.D. Lamb and he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half They'll throw again. Prescott. And Cooks hands it over the middle. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. Now Prescott on the left side Gallup's got it showed off the juke but still corralled shy of the five at the six yard line they'll wind up getting seven on the play and it'll be second down I always laugh when people say what's the toughest route to defend and I'm like any of them especially if it's a good receiver that makes things very difficult but when you're running a drag route something short shallow going through defenders using guys almost as, as that ball is caught it's Gallup touchdown Cowboys two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott and the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half that score that they just gave up there that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters they really were determined to get a stop there unable to do so that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drives seven plays in length. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. 
And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Neville Gallimore on the stop. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Cowboys. And they've definitely been able to exploit some holes in that opposing secondary as they threw for close to 200 yards in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Taking in at the three. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. The tackle by N'Kobe Dean. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Second and five now. Prescott, he finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Off the play fake, Prescott. Looking left sideline, incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On third down, it's Prescott. 
Open man Lamb. It's complete. He's got the first down and more. Touchdown! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. A try here for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. From the 25 on second down, Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing his hurts. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. And they run the option here on first and 10. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And he'll be brought down at the 27. 
Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome, but completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. Hurts. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Well, to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game, but that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fights still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day. But they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw is Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Prescott now. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. So they just yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there.
Prescott now from the 50. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. To try again after the sack. Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six. And third and eight now. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short gain. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Throwing, Prescott. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. Hassan Reddick picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Play action. Here's Hertz. On the move to his left. Hurts fumbles it. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now, because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle made by Nicholas Morrow. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Pollard again. And he'll get three down of the 34-yard line. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and seven. Now Pollard. 
And that was some effort, but it would appear that he's going to come up about a yard short. He's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Fourth down, Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They only needed that one yard going for it on fourth. I got to be honest. I thought they were going to stay on the ground. They surprised me. Did they surprise you? I'm with you on that one. I thought they'd find a way to create some type of a power run and try and pick up the first down. But they decided to keep the ball in the hands of the guy who could throw it. And it paid off. Yeah, that decision paid off indeed. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Oh, Prescott stripped. And it's picked up by the Eagles. He's at the 50, 30, 10. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. So hold the phone here, Charles. I've kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. Elliott on for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second down at seven. Here's Pollard, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And some room to roam now. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Cowboy first down there. Prescott to Gallup. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection.
They'll run with Pollard. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. They'll run on first down. Pollard, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Going to run again here with Pollard. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? On third down, Pollard. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds. They've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. I can put my defensive cap on right now. I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
Hertz sets up to throw it. Smith catches left side. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this off to Swift. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out in the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts over the middle, and it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Uh, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. But first down, Hurts. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. This one complete down the field to Goddard. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That one good for 26 and a first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a... And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown.
So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Cowboys are going to secure the football, and with it, they'll just about secure the victory as well. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. On first down, Pollard, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Pollard. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Pollard. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. So it's a win here for the Cowboys, and it was Dak Prescott, their quarterback, who really led the charge. Yeah, he was just on target all afternoon with three touchdown passes. They couldn't find a way to stop him, and ultimately, he guided them to victory.